Right, so here we're going looking at our soil organic carbon and how to calculate the mass of soil organic carbon and the percentage of soil organic carbon. So this is where it is vital to read your exam questions properly. Are they asking you for the mass of the soil organic carbon or are they asking you for the percentage? If they're just asking you for the mass of soil organic carbon, all you're going to do is multiply the mass of soil organic matter by 0 0.58 so for example one it should be two grams multiplied by 5.8 and that'd be 0 0.116 grams of soil organic carbon okay if they're asking you for the percentage you have to so the percentage of soil organic carbon you have first of all get the percentage of organic matter so you're going to put the for part one you're going to put the mass of soil organic matter over the original sample of soil multiply it by 100 over 1 to get into a percentage so 2 over 50 is going to be 4 percent and then just to make sure everyone knows that's your soil organic matter percentage. So if you want to get your percentage of soil organic carbon, it's soil organic matter multiplied by 0 0.58. So 4% multiplied by 0 0.58 is going to be, oh flip, 2.32%. Uh, I hope that's right. Let me double check it. Um, 4.58, yeah. So, um, that is how you calculate the difference between your soil organic carbon, uh, or calculating, so that's how you calculate the difference, the cal so that is how you calculate the mass of your soil organic carbon and the percentage of your soil organic carbon. Please read your exam questions and don't calculate soil organic carbon if they're just looking for the mass of the soil organic carbon. Okay, so hopefully that explains that.